In this video, I'll show you how to set up the pensions module if you're a new company taking on your first employees. Before you start, you should set your process date to your duties start date. This is the date that you took on your first member of staff. From payroll, click change process date and then enter the relevant date. Then click OK. Next, go to Company and click Pensions Module Settings. Before you continue, make sure you've got a recent backup. To take one now, click Yes and complete the backup wizard. When you've done this, the welcome screen appears. First, you need to enter your duties start date. Then, to continue, click Start. There are now four steps to complete, but you'll only see the first step if you've set up additional payroll users. To choose which users have access to the pensions module, click Do it now and select the options you want them to access. When you've finished, or if no changes are required, click Save. Then to confirm you've completed the step, tick the box. The next step is to set up your default pension scheme for automatic enrolment. To view your pension schemes, click Do it now. In this example, we only have one qualifying pension scheme. So we'll set this as our auto-enrolment default scheme and click Save. Then to mark the step as done, tick the box. In the next step, you check your pay element settings and confirm which payments are qualifying earnings. To continue, click Do it now. Most payments that are subject to tax and national insurance should be included in qualifying earnings, including overtime and bonus payments. To save your changes, or to confirm that no changes are required, click Save. Then to complete this step, tick the box. The last step is to check non-UK workers. To continue, click Do it now. If you have any employees who do not work or ordinarily work in the UK, you should mark them as non-UK workers. This will exclude them from all auto-enrolment activity. In this example, we don't have any non-UK workers, so we'll just click Save. To complete the step, tick the box, then to move on, click Next. You can now print letters to inform your employees about automatic enrolment. This step is optional, so if you don't want to do this, just mark it as done. To create the letters, click Do it now. Then to open a preview, click Do it now. You can now print the letters, and when you've done this, click Close. To return to the setup, click Close. Then to complete this step, tick the box. Then click Next, and you're all done. To close the setup, click Finish. To review your settings, go to Company, then Pensions Module Settings. From here, you can check your duties start date and default auto enrolment scheme. If required, you can also set up exceptions to your default scheme for specific departments or cost centres and default postponement options. For now, I'll save the current settings. You've now set up the Pensions Module and you're ready to run your pension assessment.